human heart is the same all over the world. And uh, his entire life was devoted to, to communicate this. From the first day he, went, uh, he entered the high school in Milan. I remember the feeling I had I climbed those few steps up to the entrance of the high school, October 1954, with my heart brimming with the thought that Christ is everything for the life of man. That truth had to reach those young people. Why? Because I'm the authority, because the church says this, no, in order that they might be happy. This is the reason why Giussani sacrifices his life to testify, to be a witness of this. Christ had the answer and meaning of everything, said Helen. This is a legacy. And uh, I think this one of the points of, for, for, for what? This uh, actual, the Giussani proposal. Because it doesn't depend from an epoch, from a certain moment of history. Because from the very beginning, this is the novelty, the, the new announcement. Christ is everything in the life of man. I put in the very beginning, in the first two lines, this uh, quotation by Giussani, that I wrote uh, uh, three times, uh, this introduction, because the, the first two, um, when I sent to Father Carol that invited me to write the book, uh, the first two finished in the garbage, uh, you know, <laughs> because I, I wrote the theory about Giussani, and he said, no, Alberto. In the introduction, we have to put the experience you had writing this book. So I read and read several times this the manuscript. At a certain point, I, I was struck. I was struck by this quotation: "The great joy in life is to feel Jesus Christ alive and beating, alive and beating." means present in the flesh of your own thought and your own heart. All the rest is a sweet illusion or dung, as St. Paul said in his letter. This is a synthesis of his life, a presence, not an idea, not a theory, not a, a complex of rules that are consequences of an encounter, of this experience. Because uh, no you can't is uh, incapable right now to move anybody. For whom has, who, who has children, sons and daughters, is so clear. If you say you, no you can't, they try to do. <laughs> Because it is uh, something fascinating that can move, something positive, because everybody is uh, reason and freedom. And it's impossible to obtain obedience through force, forcing freedom, because there is no awareness that become uh, mine if I don't want. There is a page in, uh, in Giussani's uh, book uh, that was impressive for me when he, he did a parallel between uh, the experience of uh, parents. And he said that uh, the most suffering for a, a, a mother, a father, is to see his son grow up following another path, a different path. And we, we, in that moment, he said, as, you, as I was in high school, you desire to conceal that freedom. 
in order to, to drive them to their destiny, to the realization of this life. But it's wrong, <coughs> because nothing can be there that they, if they don't want. This is the method of God. Christ became man to defend, to affirm our freedom our capacity to judge and to follow what we judge. That's the, the idea of experience that you saw yet. Not just to prove, not just to feel, but to, to discover the profound correspondence from what you need and what is inside you in terms of needs. So you can belong to someone that you recognize as this answer. And all of this <coughs> depends on the experience that you suddenly lived. For me, it was so uh, powerful uh, reading several pages of transcription of Father Gusani, at least uh, uh, 5,000 pages, without considering the book. He wrote that I know very well. And day by day he learned. You said that every page of this book is a, the, the witness of a life. And even the thoughts that you say yet depend, depends on what he experiences from the very beginning. When I was a child, he said, if my daddy, when we walk along the street, even shake my hand, saying, say good morning, I didn't learn the sense, the value of the other. And if my mother, when I was a baby, put on me in the night a blanket, didn't say, seems to be poor people. To, to, to people in China of the Vietnam War, I didn't learn the sense of the word. A baby of five, six, seven years old, but capable to understand a gesture. Not a theory, not an explanation of the value of the word and of the person. <coughs> but that concrete experience. So what, it was very easy for me to write this book eh? because I just had to follow him end by end, living again within the fact, the encounter, the crisis, the suffering, the joy, the, 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 the thousand and thousand fact that construct his life. In fact, the book is a sort of autobiography, not of mine, but of Dusan. And this is uh, his legacy. It's an experience offered to the reason and freedom of people. And uh, for me, uh, it's not uh, granted that two people, two very important people, most important journalists in the world, the world that he said, <laughs> and Ellen, <laughs> with their history, culture, experience, could find right now, in 2019, the witness of Jusan useful for them. In this precise situation, even if, uh, even if Jusan didn't talk about the concrete uh, questions you had in USA, in the church in USA, but he knew very well the nature of human heart. And he, he, he signed the way to be Christian right time in this society, to be alive, not to sleep, not to be indifferent to our personal humanity. Because in this situation, Christ doesn't matter. 
if uh, I, I don't feel my humanity, my weakness that you suddenly discovered when he was 13 years old. That there is inside me a weakness that no effort I can do can uh, answer. <coughs> Only who made me, who created me, can answer. In a very mysterious way, because the encounter is the most unpredictable event. And for me, was a, to, to, to write this book was a very impre incredible experience. Because I, I met again Giussani, living day by day, as contribution to my life and to the life of the people that uh, notice of him. So I thanks to Father Carol that uh, gave me this opportunity in 2008, when I was uh, so, so surprised because I didn't want to do, write anything about Dusan because I couldn't write another book based on my reminds. What happened to me in the, in the personal relationship with the Father Dusan? But uh, I am a little humble and I want to put me as a protagonist. The protagonist is Dusan, struck by Christ in a very, very normal and simple way. Because it's exceptional, the life of the Yusani, I know. But it's so normal. Possible to everybody. If I have one, two minutes, I want to read that two uh, quotation that was for me a revelation of, of the attitude of Yusani made. Then I stop and I decide to talk. First one is this. Uh, Giussani was affected by uh, the Parkinson that uh, uh, year by year uh, draw, drove him to, to death. And uh, in the last year, the last year was very uh, full of suffering, uh, spasm, cramps, and it uh, was a terrible days. I, I, I was witness of in some moments of this. Uh, but he didn't say anything. He suffered in silence as a, offering his life uh, for the, the, the desire of Christ in his life. But one day it was too much. And uh, the, the person who was, that was taking care of him in that moment heard him uh, saying, what a bad day. It was too much. Only for to sign. Too much. But immediately after saying that, he added, but if I live this day with a yearning to go through an experience of these circumstances, leaving the occasion that the mystery hours, I am certain, I will walk better and more quickly toward the destiny I will one day see. Much better than I would walk according to my own plans for living this day. For this reason, this day that uh, a few seconds before we define a bad day is beautiful because it's true. Also the suffering, a deep suffering for Dusani became an occasion, an opportunity to recognize the mystery as a protagonist in his life. And another one is uh, in uh, 1965, Dusani was uh, alone in a very, very small parish in San Antonio, Texas, suffering because he was sick. He spent in the United States uh, almost three months. In, in a moment, he, you, you, you say something of suffering, also be, not because he was sick, but the relation with his uh, father, the Archbishop of Milan, Cardinal Colombo, that uh, sent him to USA for a few months uh, to 
to resolve a problem. He was suffering alone, and he wrote to one of the, he wrote about 10, 11 letters in that three months. One is this, from Paolo, Paolo Mancini. I measure thoughts and actions, moods and reactions, days and nights. But profound company and complete witness are another presence. This is a long journey that we must take together. This is a real adventure, the discovery of that presence in our blood and bones. So, in the concreteness of life, the immersion of our being within that presence, that is holiness, which is the true social endeavor too. The reaction of Giussani to the 68 is based on this. This erosion of the true revolution that Christianity introduced in the world. Not the social and violent revolution, but the revolution in the awareness of the eye. Because belonging to the, this presence, which is a true social endeavor. Because of this, Paolo, we need to follow, pay attention, with courage and faithfulness, the symptoms, the signs, provided by the complex of conditions in which we come to find ourselves. Reality. The common reality. We have no need of anything else. This is the reason why Giussani's life is for everybody. When you are alone, when you are sick, when you are happy, and we are not unhappy because the heart desire to reach uh, happiness, truth, beauty, goodness. But by alone it's impossible. So the mystery became flesh to answer to this struggle in the common circumstances of life. And this is, for me, it was a contribution I received to living again the life of Father Giussani for my life and I hope for the life of other people that could, if you, if you want, to read this uh, book. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alberto. We don't have much time left, so we won't have time for questions, so I'm just going to make a few remarks about um, some of the beautiful things that came out today. The, the first thing I wanted to say was um, this point of witness. I mean, what, what struck me in listening to the three of you was the witness of Jusani and all of your witnesses, your own experiences. Um, reading this book, really what you see is a man who was um, totally taken hold. You know, um, the second thing is about this point about positivity um, that you made, Helen, um, and that I think Greg gives rise to what you described um, in the meeting of Rimini. You know, what you saw there was an openness to the positivity everywhere in reality. You know, um, and Alberto, this was really beautiful for me. What you said about Giussani and suffering. You know, seeing in his suffering. Um, the seed of positivity, the work of the mystery. Um, and this, for us, can be a real starting point of hope, you know. Um, the other thing is about following, because, you know, it really came up so clearly in what all of you talked about. Greg, you talked about, um, you know, obedience. Um, Helen, you, you brought this out. And, and then, you know, what you were saying, Alberto, about um, for Giussani, ultimately, obedience was to reality. But that's because Christ 
is in reality. He's the one, ultimately, that we're following. And so, um, just thinking about, I mean, at all levels, personally, what each of us face, um, what we're facing culturally, what's happening in the church, um, that he is speaking, you know, that the mystery is speaking in all of these things. And so to listen and to look for the signs um, of what he's saying. Um, and that, that at, the, at the root of all that, the possibility for change um, is the person who has changed. If we, had, if we had time for questions, I wanted to talk about this, but I just want to share this quote. Um, one of the things that Jusani said in 68, um, the Christian life is a method for changing even the structures, right? There's so many calls for changing structures. Um, but if we claim to be changing the structures, we're fooling ourselves unless something gratuitous has taken place inside us, which is conversion. Um, so maybe this is something um, for us today, you know, that can arouse us, right? I mean, um, you know, where are we and what do we need? Um, what can change our own hearts um, and minds um, to live, you know, a, a life more like Jusani's? Um, so thank you. Um, thank you so much to each of you for your contributions. Announcements. Um, this book will be available for sale um, outside if you'd like to buy a copy of it. Um, also, um, you're all invited to um, an, an annual gesture that's sponsored by Communion and Liberation. On Good Friday, there will be the Way of the Cross. It's a public gesture um, where we walk through the city witnessing to the Passion of Christ. Um, this year it will begin at St. Stephen Martyr Catholic Church and then we'll process through the um, through downtown DC ending at St. Patrick's Church um, and there will be cards available in the back you can take some with you. So thank you very much.